This is Pike, the Blood Harbor Ripper. Abandoned by his crew, Pike drowned, but didn't stay dead. Driven mad with revenge, this revenant of the deep stalks, cripples, and kills everyone on a list that keeps getting longer. Welcome to the Pike Champion Spotlight. Pike's passive is Gift of the Drowned Ones. When Pike is unseen by enemies, he rapidly regenerates some health recently lost to enemy champions. Pike also converts bonus health he gets from any source into bonus attack damage, including items and ally abilities. Pike's Q is Bone Skewer. I smell panic. If you tap Q, Pike shish kebabs and greatly slows all enemies in front of him. If you hold Q a little longer, Pike readies and then throws his harpoon, impaling the first enemy struck and pulling them towards him. Bone Skewer's harpoon will always pull your catch the same distance, which means you can reel champs through walls and fling close enemies behind you. Pike's W is Ghost Water Dive. Pike dives into spectral waters, entering camouflage and gaining a significant increase to movement speed that decays over a few seconds. Pike's W is great for diving enemies, but it's also your main way to claim Gift of the Drowned Ones in the middle of a fight. Taking a few seconds to slip out of sight will keep your health topped off and your enemies super salty. Pike's E is Phantom Undertow. Pike dashes, leaving behind a drowned phantom. After a delay, the phantom returns to Pike, damaging and stunning enemies it passes through. The Phantom is a die-hard dive buddy who will follow Pike to his final destination, no matter how deep you go or how you get there. Don't make it a habit to always start with your Q Harpoon. Stay unpredictable by mixing up your engage and leading in with a Phantom undertow before skewering enemies. Pike's ultimate is Death From Below. Did I support right? Pike strikes in an X-shaped area, blinking to champions, and executing those below a certain amount of health, ignoring resistances and shields. Enemies above the threshold take damage normally. When a champion dies in the X area, for any reason, he can use Death From Below again for a period of time. Additionally, the last ally to assist Pike's homicide joins in the plunder, gaining full kill goal. It's not kill stealing, it's kill sharing. In lane, Pike is constantly angling for an all in and a chance to hook, line, and sink him. Once you've chopped up bot, search the map for more opportunities to keep killing. X marks the spot. Just make sure to keep an eye on the horizon for enemies with backup, or you might find yourself struggling to stay afloat. The Ripper likes runes that maximize his plundering potential. Take domination for runes like Electrocute and Sudden Impact to fillet foes wherever he goes. Dipping into Sorcery for Water Walking and Celerity will streamline your roaming and turn the river into a graveyard. When it comes time to spend your blood money, buy items like Dust Blade or Yomu's Ghost Blade to increase your damage and lethality. For more in-lane utility, try a traditional support item like Relic Shield. The health conversion from Gift of the Drowned Ones will make sure you're still racking up the attack damage. While Pike doesn't 100 to zero targets as quickly as other assassins, the Ripper can surface with little warning and still send enemies to the depths in just a few seconds. Landing a Bone Skewer ensures they're caught in the Phantom Undertow. Once they're low, hit him with the axe for an easy kill. Ghostwater Dive and Phantom Undertow double as mobility, allowing the Ripper to rapidly traverse the map for a good old gank and shank. Pike's versatile movements extend to his alt. Crafty cutthroats can exploit the blink effect to make tricky picks. So if you're on board with death as the ultimate crowd control, make Pike part of your crew and start crossing names off your list. Thanks for tuning in to the Pike Champion Spotlight. Stab the links below for more information on the Blood Harbor Ripper.